Today's top stories. Health experts say the heavy metal mercury is indeed hazardous to humans. Mercury also happens to be commonly used in medical devices such as thermometers. To reduce the risk of mercury poisoning, experts are proposing the phase out of these devices from hospitals. Stephanie Onkiko has the report. Mercury is a heavy metal which is toxic to human health and the environment. Studies show mercury easily vaporizes and when released into the air, it can stay in the atmosphere for more than a year. This toxic chemical also accumulates in lakes, rivers and streams, contaminating the water and poisoning fish in it. Mercury vapor is also fatal to humans if inhaled or absorbed through the skin. It can damage the lungs at high doses and can harm the kidney, nervous, digestive, respiratory and immune systems at lower doses. Despite its danger to human health, mercury is still used in medical devices, such as thermometers and sphygmomanometer, the device used to take a person's blood pressure. Doctors say using mercury-based devices puts the health of patients and the medical staff at risk. This is a neurotoxin. That means it affects the brain. So once people are, uh, either inhale or ingest mercury, it would affect their brains. To protect people's health as well as the environment, different organizations and medical practitioners are campaigning to ban the use of mercury-based medical devices in hospitals. Last August 11, Health Secretary Francisco Duque signed an administrative order to phase out mercury in all Philippine healthcare facilities. Out of the 3,000 hospitals in the country, 50 have already started the phase-out. The Philippine Heart Center is one of them. They say 60% of their facilities today are mercury-free. Uh, there's no difference in terms of accuracy between the uh, mercurial and the non-mercurial thermometer. But of course, cost is always the difference. But later on, uh, people will realize that the cost does not matter if you're talking about safety. Healthcare Without Harm, one of the organizations campaigning to ban mercury use, encouraged hospitals to use alternatives such as digital electronic thermometers and sphygmomanometers. The organization says phased out devices using mercury will be stored indefinitely until the government can come up with a proper waste disposal. Stephanie Onkiko, RPN News. Thank you for joining Newswatch. I'm Orly Mercado. Let's consume less and conserve more. Good evening.